Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Ramoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats are for Pop Turnitz, Peter Jacob, Lisa, and K. Trevor about a season 10 of Letter Kenny on Hulu. Thank you all for your time. Oh, pleasure. pleasure. Yeah, thanks for having us. Okay, Trevor, I've, I've str- strategically prepped for this question because I know you are a big pro wrestling fan. You do a lot of amazing stand-up comedy, you know, but you're also doing shows like Letter Kenny. Do you see the stand-up comedy and working on TV shows as kind of a tag team where they complement each other? Oh, for sure. Uh, it definitely helps, you know, being a stand-up uh, and spending, you know, a lot of time telling jokes. It uh, definitely helps you on a show like this, which is very joke-heavy. You know, uh, I understand uh, <laughs> timing and, you know, there's been times where uh, I, I, you know, I've helped sell a joke, I think, once or twice. Where, uh, so, you know, they, they definitely go hand in hand. And on this show, we really have a lot of fun with uh, the self-deprecating and the self-referential humor. So the ongoing joke that uh, Squirrely Dan sometimes loves and sometimes hates the stand-up comedy of Kate Trevor <laughs> has been one of my favorite running gags in the, in the series. Absolutely. Those two guys ever meet? Oh boy! <laughs> what's that going to be like? Is that is that the like is that the fight that's going to have to be televised, Jacob? Like, what's going to happen there? We don't have the budget for that. I don't think. I don't think that's. I don't think that's in the cards, frankly. We have to. We'd have to go get uh, Peter Patty back from season two or three to be my body double. <laughs> right. Absolutely. Tired. Because he fit into the costume that was custom made for me. Fun fact. <laughs> that's so great. Lisa, anyone that's watched Letter Kenny, you know, knows that there's so many amazing characters like your specific with Gail. I'm just curious, in your opinion, seeing the arc and the growth might not be as obvious sometimes season to season, but is it interesting to see, because it's an ensemble cast, so many amazing characters, to see that kind of growth and see what everyone's kind of up to season to season? There's 10 seasons, so what's that like, seeing the growth? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, uh, you know, the characters change, but they also stay the same. <laughs> Gotta see them getting into different kind of hijinks, for sure. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I think it's fun to see, it's it's really fun to see the new characters that pop up always, like, that continue, that this Letter Kenny world continues to get a little bit bigger, and you continue to see more and more parts of it, and it's nice to see how those parts all interact with each other. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I just think, I just think it's, 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 um, it's just nice to see how they all come together to like, you know, fight another community or <laughs> some bullies, <laughs> but also just to see, um, just to see them, the new things that they're doing. It's always Jacob, good. is it a challenge when you're you know, like putting a show together where to try, because you guys do such a great job of, you know, keeping us up to date with all the amazing characters. Is that a challenge kind of sometimes fitting everyone in and figuring out, and I'm sure there's so many storylines you want to do Like, What's the process season to season with where you're going to go with the different characters? I mean, sometimes it's a challenge to physically put them all in a frame together because there's 42 people talking. That's a, that's a challenge for me as a director. Um, you know, I think it's, you know, kind of to Lisa's point, we're, we're so lucky. It's an embarrassment of riches over here. We have so many, so many great characters to deep bench of talent that we can draw on. Um, and, you know, and uh, a, a dirty little secret is some of it's about scheduling too. So we can't always yeah. get the people we want. So it's nice that we, or that, not that we want, that we originally wrote something for. It's nice to know that we have so many people who can sub in and come and pick up the slack. And we've got, uh, as a friend of mine refers to it, a, a like Simpsons level supporting cast at this point. So uh, we're, uh, we, we, it's very easy for us to, you know, to dip into the well and be like, oh, look, we found Jim Dickens. Let's throw him into this scene. This will be perfect. <laughs> But it, it, at this point, though, you know, I mean, it's 10 seasons of, of Letter Kenny. You know, it's six six episodes per season and everything. But, uh, K. Okay, Trevor, I think it's interesting you looking, you know, scrolling down and everything. Um, you play this character for quite some time right now. So um, what's your favorite? Like forever, right, Trevor? Yeah. <laughs> Does it? That was my question. Does it feel like you play this character forever at this point? <laughs> You know, there have been years where I've spent more time in the Squirrely Dan outfit than any other people. Uh, you know, I think the year that we, we started doing the live tour, we did like two live tours plus the, the series. And by the time uh, the last tour ended, I was like, I 
I am very happy to be out of these overalls for <laughs> for a considerable length of time. The boots get rather heavy after a hundred wears. Uh, it's you know it, it's a fun character to play, and it's become almost second nature. Like you know, really once once I get that hat and overalls on and, and walk onto that farm, you know, we're we're back at home, and it just all everything comes flooding back, and and it's not a character I have to. I have to prep for anymore. He's there. He's living inside me and he's just waiting for someone to for sure. To Lisa, when you're coming back from every <laughs> season playing Gale, I'm curious to you, what's the mindset like when you're ready to go, you know, you're playing Gale Like, what's the mindset like for you specifically? Yeah. Lisa. Um... <laughs> <laughs> thing, Jacob wants to know. He's like, I've been wondering. So thank you. I'm glad you brought this up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if I threw under the bus a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm under the bus. I'm trying to get out from under it. And I but, am um... driving this bus. Let's go, Lisa. Come on. <laughs> yeah, listen, I think, I think you know, I feel like Gail's always got sort of, she's always moving to a rhythm. So there's definitely, you know, a lot of music going on in my head. You know, there doesn't have to be any playing. Um, and you put those boots on. And, you know, similarly, uh, K-Trev, you know, the boots are heavy and they make you move in a certain way. And once you put the boots on and the tight jeans, like your body just kind of, it does what it'll do. So Absolutely. it's a lot no. of the costume. Well, and also the does. words and the lines. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a lot of silliness. So it just, you know, it, it's, it, you, you, there's a lot of work done for you for sure. I love Lisa that you act like anyone else would have put on those boots and done what you did with Gail. Yeah, it's the boots. <laughs> Hey, hey, until you put those boots on, until you put those boots on. At this point, haven't I? Like, I I feel like I've kind of worn everybody else's I feel like (laughs) you put the boots on, it's like Sisterhood of the Traveling Camp. Something happens. Put them on and then you're the character. I'll become America Ferreira. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) Sister Traveling Pants. Um, Jacob, my question to you, and I do have to say this, you know, um, it's, it's really amazing to see what you do because I, I kind of want to do what you do in terms of wearing many hats and you're, you're a little bit of an inspiration, man. Like with all the stuff you've done with the show, like seriously, like, oh, you know, wearing you. many hats, acting, putting it together, directing and everything. Was it hard? In the, it was, is it intimidating looking at it on paper that you're doing so many different things and wearing so many different hats on a series or is it just kind of happen? Like, I'm curious about that. Um, it does just kind of happen. Um, you know, when you're at work all day, every day, it doesn't really, it's not like, oh, I can't believe I'm here doing that. I mean, I'm there every day. I do it all day long. Um, there are definitely times where it's like, that's too much gland. Like I can't, I've taken myself out of episodes where I'm like, there's too much other stuff going on. I can't act at the same time as doing all that stuff. Um, uh, but yeah, it, it does, you know, at this point, you know, kind of to, to Trevor's point and to Lisa's point, like where we've been doing this for so long now that it yep. is, you know, you're kind of sliding back into a comfortable, uh, uh, certainly even, even though there are always new challenges, it's still a new challenge at the same place. hundred percent. And I've, I brought this up in other interviews with Nathan and Michelle as well. Um, Cause you know, sometimes like breaking character happens a lot. There's a lot of laughs. I feel bad for everyone that has to do scenes of Mark at times, because I personally think that he is one of Our the forward? funniest. Yeah, he's one of the funniest people. I like how like I how do you do it? Like how do you do like how do you do the scenes with him without kind of smirking or laughing? Is it's an impossible? Editing is an amazing thing. You just <laughs> cut these moments out. You just really you just don't show them. And um and then you do a close up of Mark and make everybody else leave the room and let him just do his own thing. <laughs> It's just so amazing. I wanted to thank you all so much for coming on the show to chat about season 10 of Letter Can on Hulu. It really, uh, it really means a lot that you took some time. So thank you all very much. It's our pleasure. Oh, thank you. Yeah, nice absolutely. to meet you. Bye. This is Jacob, K. Trevor, and Lisa about season 10 of Letter Can on Hulu. Until next time, this is Jacob, Lisa, and K. Trevor, and PDB. It's signing off. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Poptternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.